Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say and his teaching made a deep impression on the people. Dear friends, if we listen carefully to the gospel you've just heard, it is not enough to feel a certain sense of admiration for the Lord or a certain delight in his teachings, you know, or going away with a deep impression from what we have heard from him. Our Lord is reminding us that unless we act on what we have heard, unless we do something and follow what we have heard him say, then really it's not going to lead us anywhere. It's going to be us in the person of that second guy who built his house on sand. You know, the house is there, yes, but the foundation has been faulty. Our Lord, of course, throughout our entire lives, at very different moments, shares with us His Word and His will. When we listen to Him in sacred scripture, when we hear scripture being broken, being, you know, brought open to us, when we experience His closeness to us in prayer, Usually our Lord doesn't just come and visit us without giving us a push for mission. You know, if you look at the example of the saints, you know, we don't need to go too far. Um, if you look at the scriptures and the example of Our Lady, you know, she has this experience of God in the Annunciation. She is told she will be the mother of God and she says yes. But she doesn't remain in Nazareth. Immediately after she goes, as the Gospel says, you know, with great haste, joyfully towards Judea in order to be able to help her cousin Elizabeth who was at that point six months pregnant you know from experiencing God going into mission going into sharing God and the gifts of our encounter with the Lord with others dear friends you and I are also called to this to listen to the words of the Lord yes truly to sit at the feet of the Lord like good children like his disciples to listen to what he has to say but also to do it to do the will of god to do the will of the heavenly father this not only gives god joy but also brings joy and peace into our lives something that doesn't happen when we only follow our own desires of course our lord in saying this knows that our hearts our entire being is not perfect it is always in need of healing and teaching and so together with that reminder, our Lord also gives us encouragement that as we try to follow His will, He is always with us. He walks with us patiently in the journey. And whenever we feel like we are hitting a wall, let us turn to the Lord. Let us chuck a U-turn and turn to the Lord and say to Him, Lord, save me. I have come to do Your will.